Okay, folks, we are back with this matchup. Travis Sparks is on the outside. Barry Von Schmidt! Barry Von Schmidt can't do What is Barry Von Schmidt what? doing? Is he supposed to hit the stripey man? He, who is the stripey man? Wait, stripey you man. About, oh, the black and white bumblebee that I hired. Oh, you mean the referee. No, yes. he's not supposed to hit Those people are commentary. They are not us. I, I didn't see anyone. Oh, you mean the fat man. That's you. That's you. I'm not a fat man. Strange, spiky-haired man. You came and sat behind me willingly. I'm hungry. Where did you come from, you demon child? <laughs> you child. Oh my god. Travis Sparks, I don't know if he got all of that on, on the steel chair. I think the referee tried to move it out of the way. Jaleel Salam was going to try and go for a, a concerto. But, oh no, Travis Sparks hit a tornado DDT. Is somebody and shaving in the audience? Why would somebody be shaving in the audience? I don't know. Why would somebody be shaving in the audience? You're right, Canada guy. That's why somebody would be shaving in the audience. You're absolutely right. See, he is smart. Oh no, Jaleel Salam is also quite a very smart man. He put up the knees and got Travis Sparks right in the gut. I'm going to try and ignore you as best as I can, you insane psycho girl from the grudge. Al, 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 what time is it? Oh dear god. What time is it? It, we're, it, we're, I, oh no, he hit him with a steel chair, DDT! DDT right on the steel chair goes Jaleel Salam. And Jaleel Salam, what is he gonna do now? Oh no, wait, Travis Sparks has a roll up! He has him in a roll up! Oh, one! And two! Oh my god, that was close. Was it really? Yes, it's a count to three. So he was at really? two. Really? You, you don't even know when the referee counts to, do you? Who's the referee? Oh dear Jesus. Um, the referee is that black and white bumblebee man. The stripe man? The yes. stripey man? Stripey man. Do 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 do. Oh no! Alabama slam! Boom! You didn't even do the cut. I don't need to, crazy spiky haired man. Oh, look who's calling who crazy. Random small girl that appears out of nowhere. You need better security, crazy spiky haired man. You need better aids. Oh my god, what a flippy neck breaker! What's AIDS? It's something you get when you put the hoo-hoo in the haha -ha without some protection. Oh my goodness, he hits that big flipping splash off the ropes! You'll learn about it one day. You're right, Canada guy. He is stupid. What the fuck? Why can't I hear him? What is he saying? This oh, you know what, why, what he's saying? Because he said he did your mom last night. Oh my god! I don't know what that means, but that's what he told me. Ignoring that, Jaleel Salam is on the top rope. Is he going to go for that big body splash? He hits it! A big Come body up. splash off the top rope. But he has his feet on the ropes, ref. He has hey, his feet on the that, ropes. Is, One, two. Is, that, is that cheating? Yes, that is cheating. Oh, and a knee right to the face of uh, 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 Travis Sparks. Yes, that is cheating. Go, yellow shorts guy. What? Why do you like yellow shorts guy? Because his shorts are yellow. Uh, like I, my hair. Your hair, yeah. This, I, yeah, I'm sure. Wait, your hair is yellow. Uh-huh. Because I'm happy today. Oh, that's... What, you do, like, color moods? Yep. Oh, no, Jaleel Salam with a... He <laughs> has reversed it. Yay! Oh, only got two out of that reversal. Very nice reversal, though. Jaleel Salam... Do you know... Do you know why LWA is? Do you know... Do you what's, know who... What's a why LWA? It's the best car-fed running right now. And everyone agrees. Four out of five doctors prescribe it. Uh, Jaleel Salam is on the top rope again. Go for that big body splash. Oh, and he hits it. Who and is Barry, the blonde guy? 
<laughs> Barry von Schmidt, he's the big German enforcer of fights. And Stripey man isn't paying attention. And that allows, that allows Travis Sparks to kick out, actually. Barry von Schmidt, I think he screwed up with Jaleel Salam. And that allows Travis Sparks to get the advantage again. What is Travis Sparks doing? Oh, split-legged moonsault! Split-legged hickory-dickory-dock moonsault. And a clothesline. And a, <sighs> another clothesline. I want a nap. You don't deserve a nap. Nap, nap. No. What? You can't nap on this match? <laughs> yes, I no. can. Nap, nap. No, why do you call it nap, nap? <laughs> My God! Okay, yeah, well, at least she's asleep now. And breathing heavily. Hungry. It's scaring me. Hungry. Uh, oh, God, this is terrible. Uh, hungry. Jaleel Salam. Is, oh, he just slapped Travis Sparks right off the apron. It is loud. I can't take nap nap. Why do you call nap, it nap? nap. No. Nap, oh, wait, no. Nap. Travis Sparks counters with a reverse DDT. I don't really give a crap about your nap nap. You made me sick, stupid spiky hair man. Good. Did you see that? I, I hope that you die of hepatitis C. I hope Canadian guy did do your mom, whatever that means. You'll figure it out once you hit seventh grade. So, so he did do your mom? What? What? No! I, no, I was saying you'll figure yeah, it yeah, out. He, he, he said he did your mom. The future again. And that she was a very nice lady, whatever that means. Tell him to shut up. He's, she, he also said she was very generous, if you know it. Tell him to shut up! You tell him to shut up! I don't know what he's saying! I can't hear him! I like him, okay? Oh, he, he got an ouchie on his head. That is not an ouchie, that is blood! He has just been busted open by Travis Sparks on the ring post. I think he deserves it, too, for using the steel chair like he did. Oh, and Travis Sparks hit that big running uppercut. He's getting the ring all icky. Uh, it cleans itself up, don't worry. And Travis Sparks is going, what is he going to do? He's positioning him on the on the ground. What is he going to, he's going to hit, he's going to go for the, oh wait, he, he hits it. Kaboom. He hits that huge, flipping, diving moonsault, and he gets the win. I really need to talk to Travis Sparks about what he calls that move. Yay! Flippy thing win! Flippy thing win? Yes. Sure, that's what we'll call it for now. Flippy thing win gets the move! Yay! Okay, I'm just gonna roll with it, folks. I, I really don't know what else to do. I don't want to die. Folks, what a great match that was. We have another big match coming up. Right after this one, folks. What? Another one? Now. Yes, this isn't a one-match show. <sighs> eh, okay, stop talking to the other guy. Okay, talk to me. Okay? No! We have I a like big the match. Get better. Well, I don't care. He has an afro. We have a big match coming up. It is Omega Red versus Deadman in a no-disqualification match. That is going to be big, folks. Stay tuned. Freaking weird kid. Hello, one and all. Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. It is I, the apex of excellence, Zach Anderson. And you may be wondering where I've been, but more importantly, what I'm going to be talking about right now. And in case you've been living under a rock, it's purely simple. I'm going to be talking about my two out of three falls match against the Patriot. A match where circumstance, like always since I've come to YLWA, hasn't gone my way. You see... When I faced the Patriot, it should have been a simple one fall to the finish match. But no, for me, nothing's ever that simple. Well, in case you didn't see the match, though you should because, like always, I delivered the best match on the card, I'll give you a quick rundown in case you're too lazy to watch it. The first fall should have been the only fall. I, the Apex of Excellence, pinned the Patriot on the mat one, two, three. That should have been it. But no, like always, circumstance isn't going my way. And I had to go through two more falls because, yes, I lost the second fall. Not because I was beaten down to the point to where I couldn't continue. Because I chose to. 
being smart, like most wrestlers aren't these days, and taking my physical well-being before everything else, and doing the submission. Yes, that's right, I tapped out. But not, like I said, not because I was physically beaten to the point where I had to, but because I had to take my physical well-being before everything else and continue on to the third fall. Now, the third fall, again, like I've said before, circumstances go my way, and I lose. But it's not because of a pinfall. It's not because of a submission. No, it's because I lost by count-out. By count-out. Of course, Patriot, doing the American thing, the American way, decided that he was going to do the cowardly way. And he had me outside to the point where he had the ankle lock on. And I couldn't get out of it, of course. I couldn't break the hold. I couldn't do any of that. So there I am outside, being in this heinous submission hold. And then, finally, Patriot takes the opportunity, slides back into the ring, and gets in, en in enough time to where I can't. And he wins by Canada. He wins a two out of three falls match by circumstance. Again. But you know what? I'm okay with that. Because I know that the true victor was me because I did win that first match. The victory should have gone to me and that's all that matters to me. But you know what? I know that's not enough for you people. So I've decided that I'm going to take it upon myself to ask for a rematch against the Patriot. A rematch that I shouldn't need, but you know what? I'm asking for it. Patriot, I'm asking you to give me a rematch at the next CPV. But this time, no more stipulations. No more ways to beat me. No more anything that gives you the advantage. One on one. Best to the finish. One fall to finish. No two out of three falls. No anything. It will be purely one on one. And it will purely be me beating you like I should have done the last time. There won't be any more falls to get the advantage. It'll be me making you either submit or pinning you on the mat for one, two, three. And me finally proving to all of you haters and doubters that I am the better man. And not just the better man, but the best wrestler in YLWA. I will put on a clinic like I always do. I will deliver you the best match like I always do. A match that should be only to that of royalty. But instead, I give it to all of you to show you all just how excellent I am. You know, the nickname isn't for nothing. I go out there every night and prove it in what I do to my opponent. So what do you say, Patriot? Why don't you do the American thing for once? Why don't you actually back your name up and accept my challenge? Or... Are you not American enough to do even that? I'll be waiting, Patriot, very eagerly. And like always, I am the apex of excellence, Zach Anderson. And like always, these have been words of excellence by excellence himself.